Hey guys! Today I have an exciting haul for you, at least it's exciting for me. Um, not sure if you're familiar with Erin Condren, but Erin Condren is a planner slash stationary, stationary type company. Um, I have been planning and using planners for quite some time now. I just never got around to buying Erin Condren, uh, number one, because it's kind of expensive, and number two, because I like being able to go to like Hobby Lobby and buying things like right then and there, so I like the Happy Planner, and that's what I've always used, but um, I decided to go on Erin Condren's website and see if there's anything of interest to me, if any of the planners were really worth it. Um, I did find that you can... Um, customize your own and so that's what I chose to do I customized it and I kept it in my cart for a while I waited till Black Friday and I got it on sale <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you what I got and I apologize I am sick don't know if you can tell my throat is super sore and super dry so I have a drink with me anyways um, I'm gonna show you it came in this really cute box, super cute. It says enjoy, as you'll see, that's like their slogan or catchphrase or whatever you wanna call it. So when you open it up, it looks like this. I've already gone through it. So actually there were a couple things on top before the tissue paper, but it doesn't really matter. So because I had never purchased from them before, um, they had given me a couple things <clears throat> as a welcome gift so first on top was their um their newsletter which is kind of nice because it's like super big colorful easy to read things like that so i'm actually really happy about that they gave me a 20 percent off coupon which is also great because it's i'm more likely to buy from them with a discount code you know what i mean so they gave me these labels and it's really cool because I didn't know, but I guess you can make your own labels on their website. So that's pretty cool. I do have a Cricut machine. And so, I mean, I can pretty much do these things on my own too. I don't really need to buy them from anybody, but it is really nice to know that you can do that. So, um, they also gave me this one as well. It says enjoy to and from. And then they gave me a postcard, go the extra mile, it's never crowded. And then here's the, oops, here's the back of it there. Okay, so now to get into what I actually got. So I got a magnetic page marker in hot pink. I currently use sticky notes and I'm tired of using them. So that's why I got that. Um, I ordered one of these. I didn't know the planner came with it, so I ordered one. So I guess I have two now. Oh, well, I can use it to cut washi or measure things. Honestly, I might end up using one of these in my craft room to help me measure out my vinyl. Instead of using my big, long cutter ruler that I have, I can probably use that. It'll probably be a lot easier. Um, and then I got this dashboard, what to eat. It's a snap-in dashboard, so you just put it wherever you like. You can put it on the week of or whatever. It's up to you. You can put on there what you're going to eat, I guess. So there's that. Then I have been, been wanting to do full, uh, like, sticker sheets for weeks. <coughs> so currently right now, all I use is washi tape and stickers, <clears throat> but I don't use, like, full box stickers or anything like that so I really wanted to start decorating more I've been looking on Etsy um for people that sell the stickers but they're like super expensive like 20 25 dollars for a week that is retarded no way am I spending a hundred dollars a month on stickers uh-uh literally a hundred dollars a month no so if you can tell me anyone that sells stickers at a good price let me know otherwise you know what I'm probably just gonna make my own um, it's going to be a lot easier and a lot cheaper that way. So I'm going to show you these though, cause these are the ones that I bought. These were pretty cool cause you could customize the colors and I think they were on sale for $2 and some cents. So they were really inexpensive. I did not mind paying that for these. It's raining outside and it is very, very dark. It is two o'clock in the afternoon and the, uh, lights are on like the parking lot lights are on because it's so dark. So 
that tells you there. That was my favorite one, by the way. As you can see here, that's my favorite print. And then this one is that first one, but just reverted. So this one has black spots for the pink background instead of pink spots with the black background. So these are super cute. Part of me wishes I would have got more. I was trying to uh, spend a certain amount so I could get free shipping. And then what happens when it uh, when you buy from them, I think it's buy three, get one free of their accessories. So I'd add things to the cart, trying to get the amount up. And then they'd be like, oh, but one's free. And I'm like, ah, I want to like <clears throat> qualify. So I think all of this stuff came out to like 80 <clears throat> 83 or 84 dollars which is not a bad price whatsoever considering the planner that i got and then this one these i'm not going to use in my current happy planner i'm going to wait until next year to use these i just thought they were such a good deal i cannot pass them up so the holiday ones i'm going to wait on those um for next year but you know then I got this dashboard, which is for monthly bills. I write down my bills every single month um, already on my monthly view. I never, I've never done a planner video. I've always debated. So if you guys want me to do a planner videos, like plan with me's, let me know and I can totally do those. Um, I can try and figure out how to set up the camera and stuff like that. But um, I've never actually done a planner video. So I plan literally every single month, every single day of things that I do. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that monthly bills thing. We'll figure it out. Because uh, it's, I don't know, weird. Because here's their suggestion right there. So, I don't really know. Maybe that means, like, it came out. Maybe they have it, like... When it says auto under for car auto, maybe that means like it automatically comes out. And then if you put the check mark, it means you pay. I don't know. I'll figure something out to do with that. So anyways, now is the best part, which is my planner. Okay. So I did do the customized planner. So I did customize the front and the back. On the front here, they do give you one of the rulers, which I didn't know about. So whatever, it's whatever. Um, so yeah. So, and also you can choose the color of the spiral. This is, I believe, platinum. And I just picked this one. It was the one that didn't cost anything. You can pick black. I believe there's gold, maybe rose gold, stuff like that. But those are like 10 bucks more. I didn't want to pay that. So I just kept the silver because I'm fine with it. So here you go. It's going to super glare because this is super shiny. But here you go. There are the pictures that I chose to put on there. I love it a lot. So they already have this laid out for you. You have to put the picture in and you can like edit the picture to how you want it to be. So that was a little bit of a challenge for me was to take the pictures that I currently have and kind of like crop them in there the way that they should fit. So I don't know. I guess that's part of the reason why I chose the pictures that I chose because I don't, I was trying to find pictures that would fit in there. So like I couldn't use this picture in this spot, for example, because it would have like cut off him and it would have been like that. So you know what I mean? So whatever. <laughs> okay. So also with these planners, um, you can, per, you can uh, choose if you'd like brights or I think it's like black and white or something like that. So if you see all the colors there, you can choose if you want the colors or if you want black and white, then you can also choose if you want a horizontal week or a vertical week. I chose the, what did I choose? Vertical week, I believe. So Yep. Let me know if you guys want a more in-depth uh, review of this planner too. I can totally do that like a flip through and everything. I don't want to do that in this video, but if you'd like to see one, let me know. So on the front page here, it's uh, laminated so you can write things on the lines here and erase it. That's pretty nice. And then also next to it, they have a special sheet here. Um, it's not regular paper, so that way that doesn't rub off on your paper. I think it'll rub off on here too, so rub off of there. So anyways, there you go. There's that. And then 
Here is a layout of 2018 and 2019, so that's pretty nice. I like to, or I know people don't like seeing old dates, but I do. Like, sometimes I need to know an old date, so, you know. All right, January, there's the month layout. Same as the Happy Planner, same as what, same as what I've always used. And then here's the weekly layout. Looks like this. So that's all I'm going to show you for that. Like I said, if you'd like me to do a more in-depth uh, video on it and actually like show you guys what the planner consists of, I will. Then there's a notes section. So they give you some lined paper. You can write notes and stuff like that. Don't know what I'd use this for, but I guess I will find something. They also have some coloring pages in here. I don't know that I particularly like these or like that idea. I don't know. I think it's kind of weird, but you know, it's whatever. And then they also have um, a contacts sheet so you can put contacts on there. They have future dates. So that's pretty cool because oftentimes I'll plan things out ahead of time. So like we're currently in 2018, December. I already have uh, events going on in January, February, March, June. So that's nice that I can go ahead and look ahead and, you know, write things down because I need to know these things. Um, so, yeah, I like to plan everything far in advance. And then they give you some stickers. I'm not going to go through all of them, but just know that they give you stickers. Really cool because the Happy Planner does not give stickers with their planners. Um, but the Erin Condren one obviously does. And that's pretty cool. I think what I'll probably end up doing is just pulling these out, tearing them out. Because I don't really want like to start using the stickers and having like stickers missing off pages and stuff. I don't know. That's just me. So then in the back, they give you this sheet. It's got a pocket right there so you can put things in it. And then on the back side, it has another pocket. And they also give you a perpetual calendar. So again, this will help me in planning out um, future things. But this will be for the year of. So for instance, say January comes and we're in January and I plan something out for like December. I can go all the way back to December and write it down on the date that it is so I don't forget. And then come December when I'm going to plan for that week or that month, I can turn to this and I can look, oh, on the 13th, I have this going on, write it down. There you go. Super simple, super easy. Right now, my current method is to write it on sticky notes and then just put the sticky note on like the month layout. That way when I get to that month, I can be like, oh, I have this going on here. But you know, that's more wasteful when I waste sticky notes like that. Um, so this is way better and it helps me keep everything in one place and there's no way I'll lose it because, you know, sticky notes can fall out and whatever like that. So, all right, you guys, that is what I got from Erin Condren. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you use a planner. Let me know what planner that you use, um, who you use, like which, like what brand. Um, what accessories you use. I still plan on using accessories from like everywhere. Like I've been buying the Happy Planner accessories, the sticker books, things like that. Um, I'm for sure going to keep using other people's accessories and stuff like that. But I might now start to use Erin Condren stuff. Also, since I do have an Erin Condren planner. Um, I do have an accessory haul to film. I think I'm going to film it right after this one. So that video should be up shortly. Um, so yeah. I already have a bunch of washi tape and stickers and stuff like that at home, but I am an addict and I like to buy washi tape and stickers as much as possible. So, you know, I go a little nuts. And yesterday I went to Hobby Lobby and got some stuff in preparation for my new planner. So, all right, you guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.